Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we have a great question from Greg today. Let's have a look at what he has to say. Hi Tenfold, it's Greg here. Uh, I'm a matric student from West Rand and I've got a really big test to write on on Monday. And I'm just struggling with this question. It starts with the figure below A, B and C are the same horizontal plane. P is a point vertically above A, B and C are 20 units apart. The angle of elevation from B to P is A. So the question I want to ask um, is question number C where if AB equals AC determine AP if B equals 55 and A equals 75. I'd also like to send a shout out to my fam. Peace out. Okay, thanks for that question, Greg. It really looks like a very challenging one. Uh, let's have a look at what we can do. It says here, in the figure below, A, B, and C are in the same horizontal plane. Okay, so that means that it is on a flat surface. It says P is a point vertically above A. B and C are 20 units apart. And the angle of elevation from B to P is alpha. And they say that ABC is theta and ACB equals beta. Okay, so looking at our diagram, this is what we have been given. And I just need to fill in this extra bit of information over here saying that BC is 20 units. They then go on to say, prove that AP equals 20 sine beta multiplied by 10 alpha divided by sine theta plus beta. Okay, guys, so looking at this, we want to find AP. AP is in this triangle over here, so it's going to be APB. Having a look at this triangle, we've been given the angle alpha, and we want to find AP. So based on this information over here, we can say that tan of alpha is going to be equal to my opposite side AP divided by my adjacent side, which is AB. If we manipulate this a little bit, we can find AP by itself. So we can have that AP is equal to tan of alpha multiplied by AB. Okay, so now this is a bit of a problem for us. We don't know what AB is. We don't know what AB is, but we do have a lot of information in triangle ABC to try and find AB. In order to find AB, we're going to be looking in this triangle ABC, and we need this angle over here. This angle is going to be 180 degrees minus the sum of theta and beta. Now, we can find AB by applying the sine rule, because we have a side opposite an angle, and another side which we're looking for opposite a given angle, which is beta. So knowing this, we can then apply the sine rule. We're going to say sine of 180 degrees minus theta plus beta. And that's going to be over the opposite side, which is 20. That's going to be equal to the same ratio of sine beta divided by the side that we're looking for, which is going to be AB. Now if we make AB the subject of the formula in this situation, we're going to have that AB is equal to 20 sine of beta divided by sine of 180 degrees minus theta plus beta. Okay, guys, so this over here, we can simplify this whole piece here. We can use the reduction and say, well, that's just going to be sine of... A, a sine of theta plus beta. So if you fill that in, it's going to be sine of theta plus beta. Now we have AB, but that's not, what we were, uh, that's not what we were asked for. We were asked to find AP. So if we just substitute in what we found for AB, we can say then that AP, sorry, that's not AP, that's AB, AP, is going to be equal to tan of alpha multiplied by all of this, multiplied by 20 sine of beta divided by sine of theta plus beta. 
And I think that's exactly what we were looking for. So we have over here that we were looking for 20 sine beta 10 alpha divided by sine theta plus beta. And that's what we have over here. The order is just slightly different. Let's have a look at what the next question has to say. We have that, it says, given that a, if AB equals AC, show that AP equals 10 tan alpha divided by cos of beta. Okay, so I'm just going to pull up my diagram over here quickly. And I'm going to say that, just pop this onto the next slide over here quickly. Great, so we've got my, my image over there. We know that we have this as 20. And they now say that AB is equal to AC. So what that means is one of these two angles, theta equals beta or beta equals theta. Now looking at what we've been given over here, we don't have theta. So I'm going to say that this theta over here is just going to become beta. Now we've just uh, proved that AP is going to be equal to that identity from the previous question. So I'm going to say that AP is equal to 20 sine of beta 10 alpha multiplied by sine theta plus beta. I'm just going to pop this over onto the next page as well because that's going to be useful. Okay, so that's the first question that we've just proven. I'm going to use that information over here now to try and get to what we want over here. So we now have that a, well, that beta is equal to theta. So if we substitute this in as is, we're going to get 20 sine of beta multiplied by tan of alpha is divided by sine of theta plus beta. But I'm going to say that is going to then become 2 beta because theta is now equal to beta. Beta is equal to beta. Okay, so just some manipulation over here. We're going to have 20 sine of beta times 10 of alpha. And that's going to be divided by my sine double angle identity, which is going to be 2 sine of beta multiplied by cos of beta. And if we simply just uh, divide through by sine beta, and 2 goes into 20 10 times, we then left with, um, AP being equal to 10 multiplied by tan of alpha divided by cos of beta. And that's it. Thanks for that. That's what we have over there. Okay, guys, thanks for that question, Greg. Uh, it was a really nice question, very challenging. There's a whole bunch of identities coming in over there, and we can see that you really need to know your trig in order to answer this question. Well, thanks very much for that. Well, thanks, Julian, for handling that question. I'm going to take another question now because we just want to keep all the content rolling for you guys to get the best out of your trig. So right now we have a question from Philippine, who seems to be a pretty good fan of our show. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, Tenfold. My name is Philippine. I come from the Northwest. And I wanted to ask if you guys can please help me with the next following question. And here's the question. Thank you. Okay, cool. I really love, love, love this question because it involves a little bit of your Euclidean geometry. So we're going to show you how you can interconnect your modules in your maths because nothing is unrelated. Okay, so let's have a look at this question. It says, the framework for construction consists of a cyclic quadrilateral, that is important, PQRS, in the horizontal plane and a vertical post TP as shown in the figure. Vertical just means that it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. From Q, the angle of elevation of T is Y degrees. Okay, so that's that angle over there. PQ is equal to PS, which is K units. Okay, so we've given that those are equal. I'm going to fill in K over there. TP is equal to 3 units. And angle SRQ is equal to 2X degrees. Okay, so the first question we need to prove is show giving reasons that angle PSQ is equal to X. Okay, so... 
PSQ is this angle over here. Alrighty, so remember I said that the fact that it's a cyclic quadrilateral is important. The moment you hear cyclic quadrilateral, guys, should bring up a whole bunch of facts and things about it that are true. Okay, so remember, cyclic quadrilateral, interior opposite angles are supplementary, which means that those angles add up to 180 degrees. We've been given one interior angle at the 2x there, and now that opposite angle there is supplementary. So we know that angle SPQ is equal to 180 degrees minus 2x. Alrighty. So we've got 180 degrees minus 2x. Now we're trying to find this angle over here. So we can work in the triangle PSQ. And we know from angles in a triangle that they add up to 180 degrees. Alrighty, so let's solve that. We're looking for angle PSQ. Okay, so we say angle PSQ plus angle SPQ plus angle PQS is equal to 180 degrees, interior angles of a triangle. But we're given over here, guys, that these sides are equal which means that these angles here are equal because it's an isos triangle. So we can say that angle, okay, we don't need PSQ, we can say angle SPQ, which was what we found over here, plus two times the angle we're trying to find, which is PSQ, is equal to 180 degrees. We already know that this angle here is equal to 180 degrees minus 2x, so we say that over there, plus twice the angle that we're trying to find is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so if you solve that equation, you're going to end up having 2x, negative 2x is equal to negative 2 times the angle we're trying to find, and therefore angle PSQ is equal to x. Easy peasy, guys. Let's move on to the next question because I want to get that done. It's really important. Okay, so we found that this is x here, that's x there because it's an isos triangle. It says, prove that sq, which is this length over here, is equal to 2k cos of x. Okay, so we have k over here. Alrighty, so now we have a side opposite an angle, which we find was 180 minus 2x. We've also been given another side opposite another angle, so immediately sign rule, guys. So sq that we're trying to find over sine of its opposite angle, which is that whole angle, 180 degrees minus 2x, is equal to, we've been given this side ps over here, which is equal to k, all over sine of its opposite angle, which is sine of x. So if we solve for sq, we get that it's equal to k multiplied by, remember reduction formula, guys, Sine of 180 degrees, multi subtract an angle is equal to just sine of that angle, all over sine of x. Okay, so now we're looking to try and find a cos x in that working, guys. Expand your sine of 2x, it's equal to sine, 2 sine of x multiplied by cos of x, all over sine of x. Alrighty, so this sine of x divides into that sine of x to give us one so we get 2k multiplied by cos of x. Okay, guys, this is a really great question because it brought in your Euclidean geometry. I love questions like this because for me, Euclidean geometry is life. Like I live for that stuff. So when you see cyclic quadrilaterals, immediately bring out your theory, guys. Cyclic quad has so much theory to it. Remember, exterior angle equals the interior opposite angle. Interior opposite angles are supplementary. They all lie on a circle, so you might get some circle stuff involved in there. Just remember, trig is not only related to triangles. You can bring in circles. You can bring in so many other things. So make sure you know all of your theory around everything else, guys, so that you can incorporate your maths knowledge. Because the moment you can start linking maths knowledge, you're actually grasping what mathematics is. Okay, so hopefully you've had a great time with that question. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. For now, we're going to pop into an ad break, and then we're going to shoot back to Julian for another question. So stay with us. <laughs>